but four hair clips here. And let me show you what to look for. Do you see how it has that little oval and how it hooks into that? That helps keep the brett tight on your hair. And those make these worth more money. Um, the Goody brand go for big bucks, uh, especially the tortoise shell, faux tortoise shell, big money. Uh, these ended up selling for 50 Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, in this video, we are gonna talk about 28 bread and butter bolos, items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, let's talk about this Tyco Oopsie Daisy pink dress with panties baby doll outfit. I got this at a garage sale for $1, and I turned this into $21 best offer um, and the buyer paid shipping. So I do charge shipping on eBay and this is what the doll looks like. So I guess there was a clothing line for her 1990. The next item here is this, uh, Playmobil. If you guys don't know what Playmobil is, this little guy right here is a Playmobil guy. Let me see if I took him out of the car and I can actually show you what he looks like. Playmobil is really easy to identify once you know what it looks like. Most of them are going to be bread and butter. Um, I don't think I've ever sold any for big money, but this right here, I got at a thrift store for $1 and I sold this for $22.40 plus shipping. The next item is these vintage Terra Toy Christmas ornaments. It's a plush mouse and three ki uh, kitty cat babies. I got these at a garage sale for $1 and I sold these for $35. The buyer was all in for $44.17. So they're like little ornaments. Kind of an unexpected uh, bolo right there. I think that's pretty great for some little plush ornaments. Okay, these are a big money bolo if you get them and you test them. Um, I did not test them. So I was just selling them for parts. I wasn't sure if it worked. I did not want to test it. I have sold these before it was new in the package and I did really well with them. That's why I scooped it up when I saw it. If you guys saw that church garage sale that I went to um, where I found that vintage Avon calendar, the big money bolo there, uh, this was from that sale. And I decided to auction it, hoping that maybe it would go for a little more. Maybe somebody just needed a part. And I sold it for $14.99. This was not a good buy on my end because I paid up for it. I did pay the $8 they were asking, but I knew I had that Avon calendar and some other really nice items that I got from that sale. So I just paid up for these. Uh, I thought about having my husband like test it. And then I decided it just not worth the time to test it. So eight bucks into $14.99 plus shipping. So if you could get it for a buck, that's, you know, would be good. But $8 is too much to pay. Um, I had a video where I bought a bag full of vintage hair accessories from a garage sale. And some of those sold for big money. And this one... They're like little seed beads wrapped around a hair thing. It's pretty interesting. But this ended up selling internationally, kind of random, definitely long tail, but sold it for $14 plus shipping. It kind of surprised me. Um, I probably had, I don't know, 50 cents or less in this. Probably less, probably like 10 cents. It was a huge bag of uh, hair things. And some of them have gone for, I think I sold some of them for 70, 80 bucks each for like a little set. Uh, I have a video on it. You guys can check that out. I actually think it might be in my trailer. All right, this Fisher Price furniture. I got this from the Goodwill Benz and I took a best offer of $10 on these and the buyer was all in for $16.01. It's the Fisher Price Little People Furniture Blue Sofa Bed and Green Chair. Very lightweight from the Benz. It's $1.79 a pound. So cost of goods, probably less than a buck. Vintage lot of Pilot Fine Liner and Razor Point pens. See details. Um, I tested some and they worked. I did not test them all. They are new old stock. And then I just disclosed that they're vintage and, you know, I didn't check them all. Who has time to check them all? But really cool. You know, they're those ones that are kind of uh, like this. 
Remember those? Did you guys ever use those? I remember using those when I was younger. I thought they were really cool. I ended up taking a best offer of $10. Super happy to see these go. I don't even remember where I got them or what I paid for them. I've had them forever. Um, probably not the best buy. I probably could have had a better title and maybe just did a box at a time and tested them and just took my time a little more. But, you know, it's a definitely a learning experience. It's an older listing. Right here, this vintage Fisher-Price Little People playground swing set and slide also came from the Goodwill Bins. Took a best offer of $10 plus shipping on that. This next item is a Fisher-Price Loving Family fireplace TV music. It lights up and it has, um, has lights and sound. And I did put a video down in the description. So anybody that checks out this listing, this will take them over to my third YouTube, cha YouTube channel, Reseller Testing Bolo Products, where I test items to put in my video. And, you know, people searching YouTube for videos and stuff, uh, how things work, it's a great way for them to find out how it works. I got this at, uh, it was in a Fisher Price lot. I pick them up on Facebook and just different places. I always pick up the Loving Family garage sales when I see them. So I probably had a buck or less in this and I sold it for a best offer of 12. The buyer was all in for $29.03 with tax and shipping. So, okay, here's some more of those Bretts. Remember I told you I had the big bag of Bretts. These did pretty well. Uh, it was somebody who bought uh, two separate sets and I'm gonna show you the other set here soon. These are the, the stay tight, but these are not goody. Oh, that's supposed to be stay tight. But four hair clips here. And let me show you what to look for. Do you see how it has that little oval and how it hooks into that? That helps keep the brett tight on your hair and those make these worth more money. Um, the Goody brand go for big bucks, uh, especially the tortoise shell, faux tortoise shell, big money. Uh, these ended up selling for, 50, I'm sorry, $30 best offer. And then let me see, here is the other set. This is more of a cream. Yeah, it's stay tight. I, asked, I had a typo in the other one. And also took a best offer of 30 on these because they were buying both of them. All right, I sold this Talking Tom and I put a video on my YouTube channel and it sold really quickly. And I'm wondering if somebody saw that video and came over and bought the item uh, because it was shortly after I released the video that it sold. $12.60 plus shipping. I got this at the Goodwill for a dollar and I have video footage of when I found that in a video. Vintage Fisher Price Little People Orange Jump Rope Swing and Tunnel. I also got this at the Goodwill Bins. And I sold this for a best, uh, nope, sorry, full asking of $14 plus shipping. That was on sale. This is a My Little Pony Rarities Royal Gem Carriage, MLP Hasbro, uh, Hasbro, I think I say it wrong. I was saying Hasbro and I think somebody corrected me. It's Hasbro, replacement carriage only. I got this at a thrift store for a quarter and it sold for $11.90 plus shipping. The next item here is this Briar Horse Man of Man o War. And I had a whole box of Briar Horses and I had been putting off listing them because I don't know how to identify them. And I did a video on my reseller testing Bolo products and I just showed the horses. And I'm telling you, they have really sold pretty quickly. And I'm wondering if maybe that video helped. Not sure. But I do think that you can use YouTube to drive business to your eBay store. So what I do is I tell people I have an eBay store and then I link my eBay store in the description of the video. So if somebody sees something in the video that interests them, because people are on YouTube searching Briar Horse, then they know to come to my eBay store and to search that. I ended up selling this for $24.50 plus shipping. The next item also came from the Goodwill Bins. Uh, you guys, this is major bread and butter, but I I just picked it up. I always dig for the toys at the bottom of the bin. If you guys watch my uh, Goodwill Bins videos, you see me just picking up smalls just like this. Uh, $1.79 a pound. I probably had a quarter or less in this. It's a Walt Disney Winnie the Pooh rabbit pulling a carrot collectible figurine. I took a best offer of $5 on this and the buyer was all in for $10.46. These pantyhose. Uh, these, 
came from the Goodwill bins also. And I sold these for $7 plus shipping. Again, another very lightweight item. I did put vintage advertising in the title because it's just got this cool little uh, advertisement on the front with this girl holding the pantyhose. Kind of fun. And not a big money bolo, but definitely cool. The next item here is this glitter. I picked this up at a garage sale with a bunch of crafting stuff. I don't remember how much I had in it, but um, I, I'm going to guess $5 or less. May have overpaid a little bit for this one, but the other ones that I got, it was just, it was a really great sale. I ended up selling this for $12 plus shipping. The next item is this Dragon Ball Z minifigure, perfect cell toy. This one I used Google Lens on and I was pleasantly surprised. I don't remember where I got this. This may have come out of a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. Not 100% sure. I don't have time to go back and watch the unboxing to see. But um, sold this guy for $28 plus shipping. Next item are these Easter Fuzzy Hopping Bunny and Chick Wind Up Toys. Got these at a thrift store for 75 cents. I don't know what I was thinking buying these, but they sold and they sold for $7 plus shipping. The next item are these Disney animators, Ariel and Mulan toddler PVC cake figures. Got these at the Goodwill bins. Uh, took a best offer of $15 on these and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Disney store Lilo and Stitch Christmas naughty or nice plush stuffed animal. Um, this was actually a viewer sale. So thank you so much. Um, sold this for a best offer of 15. The buyer was all in for $22.46 and I got this at the Goodwill for one. So I told you it was a viewer sale. This, um, the person that bought this is Melissa Knows Vintage and huge shout out to Melissa Knows Vintage. Here is her eBay store. I will link it down in the description of the video. Um, she does not have a store yet, but it is in list view format. So when you click on it, it's going to take you in to this format and you can check out some of the awesome items that she has for sale and give her store a follow everyone. But uh, I don't get a ton of viewer sales. So I just want to say thank you. And I wanted to showcase her store for her. I really appreciate her doing that for me. The next item here is this Disney Pixar plush and go car. Uh, movie Revan Action Dynaco Cruise Ramirez Vehicle. All of that. Um, I got this. Let's see. Where did I get this? Huh. I don't see it in my notes. That's weird. I think it was probably in a mystery toy box or maybe the Goodwill bins. But anyway, I sold it for... I don't know, maybe $7.40 plus shipping. For some reason, I did not write that one down. I apologize. All right, Vintage Brass Bell Lot, two women. I remember I got this at a garage sale and I bought a bunch of brass stuff, things I don't normally pick up. And I paid $2 for these and they sold for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. The next item are these, I think it's pronounced Sanook, You Got My Back, Tan Tweed Canvas Slip-On Slides. Uh, size nine, and they do have a defect. Um, there's a stitching defect. Let me see if I pointed it out. Yeah, right here. See on the toe? It's like stitched weird. And I got these at the Goodwill bins, and they actually sold really quick, even with the defect. I ended up taking a best offer of $20 on those plus shipping, and I probably had about two bucks in those, maybe less, because they don't weigh very much. The next item is this American Girl Pleasant Company Gymnastics Leotard. Pleasant Company is retired. That is the older version of American Girl. So anytime you see Pleasant Company, definitely um, grab those. They, some of them can go for more. This one was pretty, uh, I don't want to, it was used, pre-owned, definitely played with, uh, not in collectible condition. I sold this for $13.31 plus shipping. And I picked that up, I believe at a garage sale. The next item is this Barbie doll as Mary Jane, the Amazing Spider-Man wedding. And this is new without the box. So I put it as used. But when I removed it from the box, I damaged the veil. You can see right there. I was not very careful. So I got this from a mystery toy box um, from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. I ended up selling this for $33 plus shipping. 
but it's working out. I've sold a lot of items from that lot. It was a really fantastic buy. It did take a little of extra work on my end, um, removing things from the package and um, getting them ready, but it definitely paid off. So lots of really cool items in that box. So definitely check out that unboxing and definitely go check out Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you. I source from them on YouTube. So sometimes I'm sitting at home in the comfort of my own home and I don't want to go out shopping or it, I'm listing and listening. So I have a tendency to throw them on while I list and then I can hear what they're pulling up and then I can pop over to that screen and decide if I want to buy something. So check them out if you're looking for inventory. I have bought some awesome stuff from them. I would like to share with you right here. These are a part um, to a Barbie. Let me get you the exact information here. Vintage Barbie pool party pool slide railings, handrails from 1973 replacements. Here's what it looks like. They sold for $9.10 plus shipping. So is that big money? No, but I got this place that it had some issues and I'm like, it's from 1973. Somebody is going to need this part and all the other parts in here. Um, it sold pretty quick, actually quicker than I expected. I thought they were going to be really long tail because when I searched, um, comps, there weren't a whole lot of solds probably because not, not a whole lot of people are willing to take the time to part things out, but you can sell things. Uh, replacements are a lot of people just have stores with, well, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but some people like people will do games and they will part them out and just have replacement pieces. So right here, if you look here, it says, whoopsie, you won't believe what this sold for. Selling replacements. Go and check out this video if you guys have not seen it yet. It's got this little strawberry, this purple strawberry on the front. Some of the items that I sell that are replacements are just, they surprise me sometimes. Um, is it more work? Yes. Are most of the items bread and butter? Yes, but somebody's looking for it. So it's definitely something that you can um, get into. And what's great about it, let's say I had this listed and um, I found another set. I could just go in and change the quantity. So that's a lot of times what people do with games. They just up the quantity every time they get another game and they just keep parting out these games that they find over and over. So the work is hard in the beginning, but then you start to just change the, the, how many you have. So that's great. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this bid, let's start over. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. There's gonna be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. Check out another video and subscribe and thanks for watching.